Hello guys, welcome back to another one of Archer's Homestead Adventures. And in today's video, we're going to give you an update on the rabbits. We got some exciting news. We got three more rabbits. I'll jump right into it and start showing you them. So up first, we have, this is JD. He's a New Zealand buck. And he's a good looking, looking buck. And we're, we got him quarantined in this... Uh, rabbit tractor that we use for the babies just so he doesn't get our other rabbit sick if he is sick he's probably not but he's just chilling here we'll probably keep him in here for a few more days then we'll take him out and put him over in the shed where we have all of our other rabbits and then over here we have veronica she is a chinchilla doe we're pretty sure if you uh think we're wrong you can comment it but uh according to pictures she looks like a chinchilla and once again she's a doe we also have her in a rabbit tractor we used to have food in there but she kept spilling it so we uh got a uh, feeder set up for her for for the weekend we're going to our lake house again and then of course like every rabbit they always spill a little hay or they pull out all the hay you can never keep hay in there but she is a big old rabbit. So. And then over here we have Pablo. Um, he is a Dutch lion head cross we think. He's got the colors of a Dutch rabbit. But he's also got some, uh, we think he's got some lion head in him. Or that's at least what the person we got him from told us. So. That's Pablo. He's a buck, and he's pretty small, so we're probably going to have to uh, give him a new home since he doesn't really fit the requirements around here. And, of course, he's got food, water, and hay. So, that's Pablo. So then over here, we do still have our six original rabbits, and I'll tell you the situation on them. We're... Nothing's wrong is happening, but we have Beyonce. She is coming up on six or seven months old, and she we need to breed her pretty soon. She hasn't been bred yet, but it's just been so hot we haven't been able to do much breeding with the rabbits. And then over here to Bocephus, he's doing good, and. He hasn't been bred to anyone yet. He's the same age as Beyonce over here. And then we have Barbara Ann. She isn't bred yet. Although she looks like it. She's getting kind of thick. They have to cut back on her diet again. And then we have Betty. She is bred. We bred her this uh, probably five days ago when you're watching this. So, she won't be giving birth anytime soon. But, on Bertha over here, she will be giving birth on this, uh, the day after you watch us. So, Tuesday. And, we got a bunch of extra hay in here for her. Got the nesting box in here. And, she has pulled some fur. I'll let you guys see that. Not much. But, it is still some. We had all of these uh, wood chips in there. But she didn't like those for some reason. She kicked them all out. Then she made her, she started making her nest out of hay. So, we just let her, let her do her thing. And then over here, oh Bobby. He's, uh, he's looking kind of rough from his old cage. He would pee on the sides. Then he'd rub up on it and his fur would get all covered in pee but he's he's grown out of it he's getting a new coat on but he is bred to Bertha and Betty if you've been watching this channel for some time now you'll remember that Bertha last time she's had one litter so far last time she had a litter though she didn't ha make the nest inside of the nesting box. So she's doing really good this year. She's got a really nice nest built in there. And she's due, like I said, 
the day after you watch this, if you're watching it on Monday when I upload it. But she is doing a really good job, and we bred her when it was, uh, when there was still some heat out. So probably are bad, but she is doing, she has handled the heat really well, and she has turned out to be a really good rabbit. Switching topics, our uh, rabbit expansion has is going pretty well. We got the stand for the cages built. We got it all tarped up, and we uh, we're thinking on these cages that this one and the one Pablo's in, we're going to make some rabbit tractors. We're going to take the top and the bottom off. We're going to connect those together and make a little 6 by 3 rabbit tractor with them. Just something to do with them because they don't really fit the uh, measurements on this. So, I'll give you another look at Pablo. He's a good Pablo. And then over here, I thought I'd take you and look at the bees. This hive, this is our weakest hive. I don't know if there's any bees left in it, but if there is, there's not many. It was always a really weak hive. Then we have that one. That's the one we did the powdered sugar treatment on. And the bearding has gone down a lot. But we haven't gotten into them since that, just because it's been so hot. And we don't want to uh, disturb them or anything. But we're probably going to get some honey as soon as we look in them. Especially from... That hive over there, that's got three supers on it. We should get a lot of honey from it. So, that's our bees situation. And we do need to weed around here, so. I don't want no comments about that. You hear me? So, the gardens. Um, I'll, I may give you an update on, in, on them in a later video. But they're doing okay. It's just been so dry this year. They ain't have they really haven't been able to uh reduce much. And uh it's just been so dry. Yeah. It's been dry, if you didn't know that. At least where we are. But behind me, as you can probably tell, we're at the chicken coop. So I'll show you that. So over here we got crispy. I think that's crispy. Yeah, that's crispy. Um, she's doing good. And that's the only one we have named so far. But we do have the silkies over here. They are figuring out, figuring it out a little bit. And the uh, they still don't go in the uh, coop at night. So, But we did take the food out. We did have some food out here that they could you that they could eat out here and we put it inside so that way they may think of inside as their new home but i don't know they're they ain't the smartest chickens but yeah we're still getting eggs out of the uh four that we had we're getting about three eggs a day so that's a good deal there so i hope you enjoyed this video well we have a lot more good hunting videos come up, coming up because probably the next one or two videos there's going to be a hunting video because September 15th that's when hunting season deer season opens up for us or it's archery season but it'll, I'm excited for it it's still a little hot for deer season but um, I'm excited for it so you guys get to see a lot of hunting videos coming up and I hope you're excited about that because I sure am but like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time on Archer's Homestead Adventures. Bye.